Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax. This is the update for October and this is basically a project use it up but just for my candles. So I'm focusing on all the candles that I have for the fall time that I want to get through within the next couple of months. Um, so this Project Wax, as I call it, is going like the entire year long and so I'm just putting in things that I want to use up in the next couple of months and then I'll refill the project with other things when I end up finishing off things. So I did do the fall kind of introduction last month. If you guys want to see that up above where I introduced a bunch of new candles for fall and I do have a few empties to show you guys and then a few that I'm going to add in and of course I have progress to show you as well. So if you are interested in seeing all of that then just keep watching. So as you can tell I'm in like the full fall get up it is still like 80 degrees here in texas but in the mornings it's like 60s so we're keeping it kind of colder in the house so we're able to wear jackets i'm just living my full fall mode up top and then i have shorts on on the bottom but i just really wanted to feel in the fall mood today so i put on a jacket but let me go through the empties first because that's the most interesting stuff so the first thing that i have here is the give warmth bath and body works marble chocolate cupcake candle this is from SAS last year. This is one of those like exclusive ones that came out, I think either for SAS or like at the end of the fall around Thanksgiving, like the Give Thanks collection, I think is what it was called. Um, and honestly, this smelled right, really great on cold, but had no scent throw. So as you can tell, I put it in the candle crock that I own and it worked beautifully in there. It scented up my bedroom, smelled just like cake. Smelled really great, um, but it has no more scent left on it. The notes are sweet cocoa milk chocolate topped with vanilla glaze. So yeah, it just smelled like cake. I wouldn't say chocolate cake, I think just like vanilla cake. Um, it was nice, but definitely won't purchase it again because obviously it did not throw very well. And then I also finished off Pumpkin Donut Shop. I did burn this one downstairs with my coffee candles in the morning. Amazing scent, I love this one. Um, the progress on it was here, here, and then I finish it off. The notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. It smelled great. It was amazing. Um, I hope to find another good donut scent soon so I can like replace the feeling of having this one going because that was the last one that I owned in this, but it was really great. Finished off pumpkin peanut brittle. Um, as you can tell, I put it in last month and totally burned through it like super quick. So it was really good. The notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I will say it was not a heavy thrower. It was more of a medium, which is not bad, but I really couldn't smell it that well in my open concept, which is where I burn candles primarily. Um, and I do have two more of these, so I guess the other ones I'll have to burn in my bedroom. But yeah, it was a really great scent, just not the highest thrower, so that was a little disappointing. And then I also finished off the DW Homes dinner roll candle. This one had no scent whatsoever like it smells really good on cold not anymore because it's sooty and it burned itself out but um it smelled really good on cold here is the progress it was up here and i just finished it off last month but yeah it smelled like uh bread buttered bread basically which is great but whenever you burned it there was absolutely no sense so that was pretty sad and the last empty that i have I actually just finished off this morning and the wax is finally dried and that is mochaccino crumb cake from homeworks I really like this scent. It was amazing. It was definitely not a high thrower either though. It was definitely more medium. Um, the notes are vanilla crumb cake, mocha latte, creamy caramel, and powdered sugar. I would say, yeah, I smelled pretty much every single one of these scents. I definitely smelled some cake notes, some latte, and a little bit of caramel. It was a really great scent. Um, not overpowering, but I like my coffee scents to be super strong, at least an eight out of 10 and this was probably more of a five out of 10. So not strong, but if I went upstairs and came back down to it burning, then I could definitely smell it, but I kind of got nose blind to it really quickly. So I probably won't purchase this one again, but it was still really yummy and I would still recommend it if you like those kinds of like cakey latte scents. It was really good, but I probably won't get it again just because of the throw. Okay, so that's all the ones that I finished off in the last month. So that is 
four full size candles and then one single wick. So it did pretty good. That's five candles total. So let me show you guys what I have progress on from the last month and we'll start with homeworks. So first I have hot cider donut. Now I didn't get a chance to burn this a lot. Um, I've been focusing on some other candles. So I did only get like a tiny bit of progress, but I think this is gonna be one of the main candles that I burn this month for October because how can you not burn cider? in October and I really do love this scent. It smells exactly like a cider donut. So really yummy and I hope I'm gonna get a lot more progress on it this month. Another one I just haven't gotten any progress on is Harvest Bake Shop. I mean, I burned it a few times. So I have, you can't even see it, but from here to here, the teeniest bit of burn time, I think I burned it twice. It's a great scent. It is just like a spicy gourmand it's creamy pumpkin crushed gingerbreads sugared molasses and whipped buttercream i feel like this is going to be better in november so i might not get to it this month i might not burn it a lot this month but i definitely think this will be more of a november scent that gingerbread note will definitely help me transition into christmas candles so that's this one not a lot of progress again let me show you one that i do have some good progress on and that is pumpkin pecan waffles this has been my like main go-to candle sitting on my like kitchen bar. So I've been burning this one a little bit and we have gone from here to, I did mark it up here cause that was where it was yesterday, but I burned it today. So it's down here already, but there is some significant wax deposits. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but this candle as always is a heavy hitter, like a nine and a half out of 10. It's a beautiful scent. You cannot go wrong with pumpkin, with pumpkin pecan waffles this time of year. It's maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. It's so yummy and very nostalgic for me. So absolutely adoring the scent. And I think I will finish it off this month because it's one of my focus candles. Another focus candle is champagne, apple, and honey. I've been bringing this one a ton. It is sitting, well, it usually is sitting on my coffee table. So I more burn this one in like the evening time. The notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne and jasmine honey so it was unburned last month and now we're down to here i marked it again yesterday over here and then i burned it so it's actually down here it's lower than the mark but i'm definitely gonna finish this off in the next week or so it is an amazing scent i will say every now and then i get a bath and body works candle that smells like plastic when you burn it and this one has that slight plasticky tinge to it I don't know what that's about. If you guys know anything, let me know. But this one has like, it's like beautiful champagne apples and plastic. So I don't know what that's about. I might've just gotten a bad batch, but I do love the scent if I just like forget about the plastic note. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish this off, this one off soon though. And then one I don't actually have any progress on is hot cocoa and cream. I just didn't pull it out this month. Um, I thought I would really pull it out last month, but in September, but I really haven't touched it. I think October I'll feel more inclined to burn it. It's basically just a warm Swiss Swiss cocoa kind of scent. So if I get the cozy feelings, I'm gonna burn it, but it might just be a November scent going into Christmas. Another focus candle that I've been really focusing on, like actually it's still kind of warm <laughs> because I was just burning it, is Banana Walnut Muffin. And you can see where it's at right here. And I've had a lot of progress lines on it because I've been trying to finish it up. This one um, is one I'm not particularly impressed by. It has a lower throw, I would say like four out of 10. Um, I don't enjoy the scent that much. And it has puny wick syndrome. So it actually burned itself out yesterday. And I just, I finally got it to light today and it's been working, so that's good. But yeah, it's about halfway and I'm just gonna continue to try and get through it. This is a nice candle though to burn like in the mornings um, after I'm done with like my coffee candle around 10 or 11, I'll put this one on. So it's okay, it's fine. I'm just trying to get through it though. And it is from last year. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to return it cause I tried to get myself to like it last year too. So, and the last one I have to update you guys on is uh, the eucalyptus, the aromatherapy stress relief eucalyptus spearmint. I don't have any progress on it though because I haven't been burning it um, because I was really just trying to get through dinner roll upstairs in my bedroom. So I'll be burning it this month, I think. Um, but that's that one. And then I do have two that I'm gonna introduce into the project. So the first one is Spooky Cider Lane. And this is in the beautiful um, skeleton packaging. I think it's so super cute. And I think I will be burning this upstairs. 
it is a really great scent. It's just super apple-y and fresh. Um, so I wanna see how it performs in my bedroom versus downstairs in our open concept area where it has like no chance of surviving. The scents are Bone Chilling Bourbon, Bone Chilling Bourbon Glazed Apples, Magical Maple Syrup, Voodoo Vanilla. So yeah, it's just a maple apple scent and I'm interested to see how it goes. I burned it once, so it's pretty much unburned. So I will try to get through this one in the month of October if I can, and we'll see how it goes. Another one that I'm putting in is a super, super pumpkin-y scent. This is Homeworks Farm Stand Pumpkin. Really excited to burn this one because I can't quite get a feel for it on cold if I like it or not. So it's completely unburned. I haven't even taken the dust cover off, but this is supposed to be like a super simple pumpkin scent. So the notes are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and sugar tonka bean. I can say on cold, I really only get um, pumpkin and tonka bean, sugar tonka bean, but I don't get any spices. So I'm interested to see how it is when warming because, or when burning, because I have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not. I really can't tell. So hopefully I love it and it ends up being a great pumpkin scent for, you know, October when I really want a nice pumpkin scent. So this is actually like the only pumpkin scent that I have in here. Everything else is like apple <laughs> and bakery. So yeah, this is the only pumpkin scent that I have going right now. Crazy. But yeah, I hope this will be a great focus candle for October and I'll really be able to tell if I like it or not. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below what is your October candle that you are like totally enjoying in the peak spooky season. Let me know down below. I think for me, it's gonna really be pumpkin pecan waffles and hot cider donut. I'm really excited to have those going and really give me like the spooky vibes. And when it fi we finally get our first cold front in Houston, I mean, we've gotten a cold front, but it hasn't stayed below 80. When it's like 70s, 60s outside, we'll be good. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.